Okay, so looks like we need a notifications page to show the user his notifications in application. So let's go ahead and create a new notifications page. So right here, we're going to create a notifications or not so that blade that PHP and right there, I'll just go ahead and copy the layout of this page and put it right there. But I won't want it to be as small as this. So I'll just go ahead and say 10 and right here the offset would be one. Okay, so right here I'll say notifications and I'll just add a text center. Okay, so right here we're gonna display the user his notifications. Now, how do we do this? We'll just go ahead and create a route, a notifications route and it's gonna lead to this page and we'll just loop over the notifications and broadcast to the user. So let's go ahead and create that route so right here we'll have a new get route and this get route is going to display the notifications of the user. So right here I'll just say notifications and there's no slug. And right here I'm just going to say notifications and uh, this controller is not going to be used. I'm going to use the home controller and the notifications method and this I'll just call notifications also. So if I head over to the home, home controller, I'll create a new method called notifications. And this method is just going to get all the user notifications in the database and automatically Laravel already orders or sorts these notifications in order of created by. So the latest is going to be at the top automatically. So we don't have to do any of that. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is actually mark all of these notifications as red as soon as we get them from the database. Okay. So we mark all of the unread notifications as red and then we display this page to our user so that once he views that page, we know that, okay, he's seen all of his notifications and all of them have been read. Okay. So right here, we're just going to call the mark as red method, but only on the unread notifications. So unread notifications and we'll mark them as red. So mark as red method right there. It's going to do that. Okay. So once we mark them as red, we'll just return the view and this view would be with some data. And this data is going to be all the notifications of a particular user of the authenticated user. So notifications right here. So the name of that view that we're going to return is the notes view that we just created. So first we get all the notifications, we mark them as red and we return a view with all the notifications that the users ever had. So we need to display these notifications in our notes.blade.php. And how we do this, I'll just go ahead and create a simple unordered list of class list group and uh, right here I'll just loop over all the notifications for each notes as notes and for each and uh, right here I'll just go ahead and display a list group item and uh, I'll just echo the notification. So we have notes and remember in our notification we have a data and this data is going to deserialize into an array and we are going to simply assess the data that we stored in our notification. In this case, the name and the friendship. If I just head over to my new friend request right here, this is the array that we are trying to access. So we have the name and we have the message. Okay. So we have the name and the message. So I'll just go ahead and say message and uh, we would want to echo the name right here. So we'll say notification and data and right here we'll say name. So this name sent your friend request and right here we have a space. Okay. So we're displaying the name and we're displaying the message and uh, what we can actually do is also display the timestamp of when this happened. Okay. So I'm just going to either put a timestamp and I'll pull this to the right and this is simply going to be the notification created at timestamp. Okay. So this should do it. Let's go ahead and see how this works in our view. Okay. So right here is our link to our on to our on red notifications. Let's go ahead and visit that class app of not fine. Oh, sorry guys. So in my home controller, we have to define the use of use of right here. So if we refresh, that works. So you see Emily Myers, Emily Myers sent you a friend request. So we are receiving this twice because remember we won't store the name in the message also, but this thing, this should work fine with other notifications. Okay. Because we corrected that. So Emily Myers sent you a friend request and then here we have the timestamp. Okay. So since all our timestamps are instances of carbon, what we can actually do there is call a div for humans 
right there so diff for humans so that it's gonna format that in a better way and notice that our notifications on red notifications are now zero because we marked all notifications as red so if we refresh that you see three days ago so that formats pretty well so we have the notifications and we have three days ago so any notification that we have here we can now view right here so the user can visit this profile and he can see all his notifications okay so now just before I end this video, what more can we do with notifications? Remember with our notifications, we have the type. Let me just go ahead and open my database so we see that. So our 5.3 and right here, the notifications. So remember the notifications, we have the type, we have the notifiable type and the, all of this data. So what you can actually do is check the type check the type of notification we have and uh, you can also display the avatar of the user who sent this notification and you can also put a link so that you can maybe see the avatar the user's profile and all that so using the type you can just write an if statement saying if this notification is of this type then show it this way if this notification is of this type then add a link and all that okay so that's all we're gonna be doing and uh, thank you so much thank you so so much give me your feedback thank you so much for your feedback guys it's really encouraging so i'm really looking forward to your feedback so i know what next to do thank you so much and see you in the next video